today to talk about the Open Society Initiative for West Africa Project, OSIWA. And our aim is to interact with the market women and get to know how their business fared during the COVID era and what are some of the strategic uh, uh, things that they implemented that made them resilient for them to be able to overcome the COVID. Monday, more than the shade or the shade. Then you know, go school one, Madame. School one, the boy, Kenya. You care for two or three, and to be back, who knock by, but you bought the two one, not say, no customer tattoo. Was that a bottle of brown? I said, Yeah, but to me, and sat, Nin, I say, Me baba, you have a sober head, also about a zany better than some of the things can be out of the And yet, I cannot stop at the way by it. So we're here, we interacted with the market so many like in a town meeting platform. We had an open forum discussion with them. It was a QA session. We also had a session where we gave we had them answer some questionnaires to measure their resilience level during the COVID. That is post that is pre-COVID, during COVID and then post-COVID. And then we also saw some of the things they some of the measures or the strategies they implemented to protect themselves during the COVID without any government intervention. So we had over 40 women who showed up at our town meeting today in Kaswa and they were able to pour out you know the challenges they've been facing post COVID and we, we were able to have some interact interaction interactive section with them and um, we just want to appreciate every woman, every woman, you know, market women that actually showed up 
for our post COVID um, resilience. And you know, we want to just say thank you to the Kasua women, and uh, we are sure you will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for coming for a town hall meeting in Kasua. Thank you. Bye.